Nice to have you with us. Why? 
because it just wasn't where I saw myself. I mean, the reviews were like, this show won't last till Thanksgiving. Gently now, gently, there we go. <laughs> this is great, we should be mothers. Oh yeah. And now I'm so proud of it. Now I'm really happy that I did that show. I'm glad I did it, obviously. Whatever his feelings about Full House, it made John Stamos a next level star and gave him a best friend in co-star Bob Saget. This was Saget's toast at his friend's 50th birthday bash. You deserve so much happiness and you are so full of love and you are such a great person and the talent and the looks, everybody resents, but <laughs> you are just, uh, you know, you're just a heart and uh, I just love you very, very much. The two were practically inseparable, and when Saget died this past January, after a fall in a Florida hotel room, Samos was shattered. I, I don't know what else to say about it other than, obviously, you know, I met one of the biggest influences in my life was Bob. I wouldn't be who I am without Bob. But my parents said that's obvious, but, but him, you know, he was there for everything, all the good, all the bad. He was, he was my brother. He was the brother that I, that I, that I always wanted. This is Bob's guitar that he, uh, that, they gave, that his wife gave to me. You can only play dirty songs on here. <laughs> John Stamos is a collector. His home is filled with photos of heroes who became friends. The surgeon concurred with my assessment. Hey, don't worry, boss. I'm not one of those. I told you so, kids. He's also collected a few screen credits, like the long-term part on the hit series ER and more. With looks, charm, and a star on the Walk of Fame, it always seemed like Stamos had the perfect life. But there were times, he says, when he didn't always want to live it. For the longest time, I was not sober. I was fuzzy. I thought, I've done it all. I don't, I, wouldn't, I don't want to kill myself, but I didn't care if I died. You didn't care if you died? I, didn't, I said, I've done it all. I've died. I died tomorrow. It's okay. I fight my, you know. What was I thinking? I hadn't done it all. I still haven't done it all. I'm not even close. And he got something of a wake-up call in 2015 when he was arrested for driving under the influence. Well, you know, that fateful night of, of, I got in my car, I thought I could drive, and I couldn't. And um, I, I had just had flashes in, in my, my mind about driving in circles, and people were driving near me in the road, and I'm like, Uncle Jesse, my lover, and I'm like, John. And then I, you know, when I went to rehab, and it was, it was the hardest thing ever. My friend said, you know, your mom was really worried about you. He said, what? So my mom would call him and stop worrying about John. And I, th I thought I was fooling everybody. That's the thing, too. Anyway, that was that. So when that happened, I said, this is my, I can't screw this up now. I have to stay with this. And here's something you might not know about John Stamos. He's a hell of a drummer. He's been playing with the Beach Boys and co-founder Mike Love since the 1980s. You two have gotten close over the years. I mean, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but... Yeah, Why was it? Not in my no, way. No, no, no. He very she Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, don't meet your heroes. I'm glad that I met him, because he's everything that you want Mike Love to be. And maybe, after a few decades of figuring it out, John Stamos is everything he wants to be, too. So what's the future look like? kids, I hope. <coughs> well, I'm not looking too far in advance. I'm just thinking about now. Because the next moment might be gone, you know, gone. Right? And this moment's pretty great. This is a great moment. Winnie the Pooh said something like, uh, today is my new favorite day. Making these new memories and, you know, my new favorite day. Today is my new favorite day.